Hello everyone, today is August 26th, 2014, a Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. And I'm walking into Keene City Hall to give them notice that I will not be paying this ticket. I would like a day in court. So I'm getting this request on the record by walking in with a camera and recording it. So let's go to the second floor. That's where the parking office is. So I just received this notice of violation while I was getting my hair cut. And I don't appreciate that. I was in there for about an hour. I left immediately after. I wasn't lingering. I was using a local business. And uh, here is the parking enforcement office. So here we go. Hello. I am here with a ticket that I do not intend to pay. Instead, I would prefer to have a day in court, please. Uh, yeah, I don't have my driver's license on me since I'm not driving. So is there information I can give you f from my mind? I'm at 73 Leverett Street. Okay, thank you. I don't, I don't need an officer to serve it to me, if, to be honest, if, if that's what it's about. Oh, that's okay, because i got to write this out. Okay, thanks. Yeah, bye. I, I don't mind taking it from you. Serve you. Yeah, I don't mind that. I intend to be there. <laughs> Yeah, I was just in the um, lot across the street here getting my hair cut at Moda. And as I came out, no, oh, there was a ticket there. So frustrating. Because I was, uh, you know, I was there, I used a business, and then I left. Seems to me like the intention of uh, having meters is to make sure people aren't lingering. And I was certainly not doing that. So I uh, look forward to making my case in court. We'll see how it goes. It's actually my first time. I've never contested a parking ticket before. And, uh, I do have you contesting one. Well, I, I must have just given in. I must have uh, just pleaded guilty. There were two, one in 2012. Did I actually go forward with a trial? I don't, rem I don't remember that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I think I said I was going to contest it and then ended up just saying I'll pay the pay the fine. I think that's what happened. So this is my first one where I'm going to be like prepared and have papers and pictures and video. It'll be fun. So I'm going to confirm that your birthday is 6889. That is my birthday, yes. Hi, hey. Jane. I believe uh, it's your ticket that I'm <laughs> preparing to contest now. I think really? you I think you just gave me one. Yeah. I um, well, Why did you put money in the meter? Because I was <laughs> expecting this. I thought that maybe if I didn't pay, I'll get my own parking ticket, and then I can contest it, and we can have a little fun in court. Oh, fun! <laughs> <laughs> so here I am. I hope you have a good rest of the day. You too. Thank you. Although I did also hope that some of the Robin Hooders would be out to save me. You know, in the back of my mind, I was hoping they would be there to put a nickel in. But uh, I guess they weren't. They're slacking. Got to talk to those Robin Hooders and say, get on the job. If Jane's out working, you should be too.
So right now the clerk is filling out a form, some sort of uh, document. It looks like I'm going to get a copy of something. They'll keep a copy of something. They've chosen a, a date where they're going to have a judge and the witnesses, <laughs> you know, like Jane over there. And uh, we're, we're going to talk this one out. We're going to figure out where justice lies with the, uh, the parking ticket situation. Oh, Tom Mullins over here. Jester Tom. He's the court jester. Oh, he doesn't like to talk to the camera, though. He's actually the city attorney. Uh, I call him the court jester because, like, you know, that's just a funny name for what he does. But Garrett, in his AKPF number one videos, usually puts a jester hat on top of him uh, using video effects which I think is pretty funny. This, uh, this room here used to be sort of off limits. Like I was arrested actually right here um, for recording video. But that was back when this was the um, lobby for the courthouse. So, you know, you would go in, district court was back that way and they shared this space with um, the city hall, city council people. And uh, when I was in here doing some video recording, um, I, I was actually arrested by one of the bailiffs. Now those charges were dropped, of course, because it's not a crime to record in a public space, but it was still a scary time. Um, and I'll never forget it, you know, even climbing up those stairs again today, I, I was thinking about that as I'm carrying my camera, like, it was less than 10 seconds between um, walking through the door and being under arrest. So, you know, I figure if I make it more than 10 seconds this time, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Looks like there's a, a reminder. It's just gonna be a few minutes and officer's coming over to serve you. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So it looks like there's uh, some reminder of the regulations here, just in case I didn't know. And I suppose, uh, sounds like a police officer is coming here to serve me my paperwork. Um, you know, the paperwork is right over there on the other side of the glass, but in order for me to receive it, it has to be handed to me by someone with a badge. That makes it official. And um, I guess it also implies this threat that now that I've asked for a court date, if I don't show up, I'm in trouble. I guess that's part of it. But I do intend to show up. Uh, that was part of my whole reason with not putting money in the meter in the first place, so. Uh, it'll be interesting to see which officer comes. I hope it's um, Timothy Peliquin. He's one of my favorites because uh, he's so friendly and uh, he'll probably, I don't know, stay in chat or at least say something friendly. But if it's someone like Bruce Uhas or uh, Fenton Moore, then they'll be angry and want to just run away. The, another one it could be is uh, Officer Jason Short. Um, you know, he's been more cordial to me lately, and I've really appreciated that. So anyway, we'll see. It's a mystery. I might not even know the individual. There are a few new people at the Keene Police Department. I try and know who each person is, you know, recognize a face and a name, um, and even license plate number if I can, but uh, it's, it's just not, not something I've kept up with. Let's see what else is around here today. Got uh, parking services. Hmm. Well, it looks like free parking days for 2014. Hmm. New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day. Which one is coming up? Oh, Labor Day. Wow. So if there's no parking enforcement on Labor Day, doesn't that mean it's going to be Chaos! It's gonna be crazy! People won't know what to do. There will be people parking on top of each other. No, that's not likely. 
You know, on the days and weeks where parking enforcement is not in operation, um, everything works out just fine. People uh, don't have, you know, major issues. Uh, you go, you, you park somewhere where you have business, and then you leave. There's very few people who would want to leave their car out on Main Street, because if you're not attending any businesses in the area, like, it's kind of hard to get to. Um, you want to park close to where you are. Just makes sense. Let's see. <sighs> I would like to see this police officer come by quickly, but I have a feeling this is not a high priority for their day. I'm glad I had time to do this today. It's not everyone, uh, not everyone has time to do stuff like this. I think it's part of the reason people choose to pay the $5 ticket. They're like, all right, this isn't worth $5 of my time. Hmm, looks like she's still filling out the form a little bit.